Welcome back to Investing with Confidence. I am your host, Joshua David, and we're having a good time jamming in studio about the financial markets, how they work, and how us as the average investor can participate. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. Also, check it out, the Investing with Confidence YouTube show. So, Al, as we get into this next topic, and we talk about this every week, and there's and, and I guess the public is always talking about this too, is, is people want to be able to retire yesterday. Mm-hmm. Well, the fact of the matter is, is people are, ha- are struggling getting to that promised land. There's always a pathway to an end point, and that end point is that retirement age, retirement years that they want to be able to start to enjoy their life. But we have a retirement crisis, and we talk about this every week. There's People just can't do that. Now, part of the problem is people are being sold mutual funds, they're being sold annuities, and the keyword is sold because there's a lot of fees that come along with them. Mm-hmm. There's reasons why they sell those. But we're seeing more and more people want to understand what are some of the things that I can do differently to have more comfort, but also more confidence going into retirement. So let's unpack that a little bit. What can we as the average investor do a little bit differently than just buy all these expensive funds that cost a lot of money in fees? Yeah, well, it starts with knowing what those different things are that you can do. And when you think about it, uh, how do you participate in a market that is not going up? Because for most people that are in the kind of go-to investments, the mutual funds and stock, the market can only go one way and provide an opportunity for you to benefit. What if it's going down? What if it's going sideways? What, what do you do? Because it will go down. It will go sideways. It always has. It, it always will. Let me ask you this, Al. A lot of our listeners have only experienced an up market. Right, that is true. So do you think people are being conditioned that it's always going to go up? So they're being sold these mutual funds and annuities at higher fees, potentially? Do you uh, think, I mean, that's a possibility. Of, of course. Yeah, and the market has done extremely well over the last few years. But when you think about it, why is that happening? Well, for the primary reason is that the Fed has, has pumped trillions of dollars into this economy with stimulus, with a number of different things. They've kept interest rates at almost zero. You know, that, those are combinations of things for good markets. But people assume that that's going to continue. We don't know for sure that it will or at, at what degree that it will. But I think the important thing is to be prepared for different market conditions because you can't control the market. What you can do is control how you react to different conditions. And that part of a, a, a proper education, and I'm going to use the word plan, part of a proper plan, which includes the education, is also having access to assets or strategies that can benefit you in different market conditions, up markets, down markets, sideways markets, volatile markets, non-volatile markets. How and, many markets are out there? Well, there's a number of when you <laughs> consider true. all of those different combinations. Yeah. It's not just a, a one-way market, but that's how people have been conditioned to, to think just a, it's a buy and hold strategy, only participating beneficially in one direction. And again, the market doesn't just go one direction. That's one of the reasons that we have had a crisis. Now, a lot of people out there are saying, yeah, but my 401ks over the last few years have done really well. And, and that's fantastic, and we're happy to hear that if you had access to a employer-sponsored retirement plan. But now the key is making sure that that money stays with you. And, and what the smart money knows how to do is not just participate in an up market, say in a bull market. They know how to protect their profits in a bull market, and then they know how to participate in the coming bear market. So uh, it's just a pr- being prepared to participate in different directions and different conditions. And, and there are strategies that can be used in up markets, down markets, sideways markets, volatile markets, non-volatile markets. That all should be part of a plan that is specific to you that takes into consideration what your goals are uh, while you're still working and especially when you go into retirement because then you have fewer choices I mean, as far as a career is concerned. When you go into retirement, there's one big thing that all of a sudden is gone, and that's the income from your job. Mm-hmm. So now, what do you use to pay the bills that that income was paying? What do you use to take the trips and buy the cars and pay your mortgage that that income was providing? Well, that's one of the things that we concentrate on is, is how to take advantage of not only building for retirement, but when you go into retirement, how to generate some, some additional cash or income off of your retirement or the portfolio. potential. The potential, it's always potential mm-hmm. uh, to protect what you have and then to grow your portfolio. 
Yeah, I mean, one of the things I was having some conversation with some friends just recently, and they were talking about, I mean, you mentioned the markets have been going up and people have been getting some returns. Well, some people are saying, well, that's just the contributions that are put on putting in because a lot of people are doing well in their careers. So they're, it's an maxing, point. they're maxing out their contributions, but they're throwing a lot of money away because of fees. And so they're, they're not seeing the growth that they were hoping, but a lot of that is the contributions. And that's why it's so important to understand how 401ks really work, how, how the fee structures really work. And sometimes it's very hard to understand that. I mean, you got to almost be an attorney to read those things. There's a reason that they do that. If you want to learn more about 401ks, IRAs, different techniques and strategies to potentially protect what you've earned in the past, you know, so many years with this bull market. Now, there's an alternative to just having somebody manage your future. Right. And that's self-directing. Mm -hmm. Talk about that. What is it? Yeah, if you, if you look at the money you have in your retirement portfolio as money in a bucket, and every time you, you uh, have a contribution to that retirement account, money goes into the bucket. But what if there was a hole in the bottom of the bucket? And so every time you put some money in, some money leaked out through that hole. And what if over the course of your working years, the money that leaked out took maybe 40 or 50% of what you could have had when you retire? Wouldn't you want to uh, fill that hole, uh, maybe put some duct tape over that hole, so to speak? Well, that's though that hole and the money leaking out, that's the cost of ownership of some of the retirement uh, plans that you have or investment plans that you have. Those are the fees that are being charged. And in many cases, th those fees are being charged for mediocre returns. And when uh, a market is going in a downward direction, either through a 10% a, a or greater correction or a 20% or greater bull market or bear market, I'm sorry, when that happens, that hole gets wider and you're still paying fees for somebody that when you're losing money, that really does not make much sense. It doesn't so what, make sense at all. Yeah. So what No all, performance at all. Cor correct. And, and, and even if there's some performance there, if it's sub market performance, that doesn't make sense. And, and when you look at what the performance of mutual funds have been over 10 and 20 year periods, almost 80 to 90 percent of them underperform the markets. So you're paying fees, and, and that's part of the reason they underperform. But the reason, the way you get around that is to self-direct an, an account. By doing that, you are making the choices, you're making the decisions, and you're not paying anybody for the right to do that, which you are in your employer-sponsored retirement plans. You're still making the choices there, and you're paying somebody basically for giving you the right to make your own choices. Well, in your retirement that plan, sounds phenomenal. <laughs> doesn't it? For, that, for, the, for, the, for Wall Street, it is phenomenal. Yeah. But in a self-directed account, there's no fees, and you have many more choices. You don't just have to have mutual funds or stock. You can have, uh, you can have investments in futures, in Forex, in options. And options is a great way to provide a protection for your, uh, for your uh, portfolio. Yeah, I mean, I talk to a lot of people, and, and some people, we're, we're so conditioned as, as the average person to say, you know, if, as long as they're getting me a couple percent, I'm willing to pay them. Mm -hmm. Well, why? Okay, let me ask you this. Would you just throw money out the window when you're driving down the road? Has anybody ever done that that's listening? No, I wish the person in front of me would do that. <laughs> you're exactly right. Nobody does that. But why do people do that in their retirement accounts? Yeah. They're conditioned, they're to, conditioned believe they have to. to believe that's what you have to do. And there's opportunities. There, you're missing out on the great opportunity, especially in retirement accounts, by self-directing. Having more control, more say in what your investments are, potentially lowering those fees, that way you have your best interest. If you want to learn more, it takes a little bit of action. And these action, that action is these investing classes. And we talk a lot about retirement, 401ks, self-directing IRAs. There's opportunities that people have potentially to roll into a self-directed. But you got to do that with confidence. Mm -hmm. That confidence comes with education. Now, we got one more segment to go, and it's been a great show here today, and it goes by so fast. It does. A lot of people need to understand how to get started. Most people are new to the markets. Some people are investing in their retirement accounts, but just don't know where to go. So let's talk about how to get started. We'll be right back. 